Hey there everyone, welcome back to a new Warframe guide! Today under the spotlight is no other than the god of mischief himself, Loki. Love him or hate him, Loki is undeniably one of the best Warframes in the hands of a skilled player. While lacking direct damage skills, his use of deception, stealth and sabotage abilities allow him to overcome any who dares cross his path. Although fragile, he isn't really that squishy. Being the fastest Warframe in the game coupled with his skills makes him incredibly hard to kill. With the help of Decoy, his first ability, Loki is able to distract the enemy's attention away from himself and to a clone summoned where he aims his cursor. While it mimics shooting, it doesn't actually do any damage, but can still apply status procs. Placing the decoy in a hard to reach spot forces the Grenier and Corpus to still shoot at it even if they can't deal any damage, but Infested usually ignore the decoy after a few seconds of inaccessibility. While the clone may go down very fast under heavy fire, Limbo can banish it into the rift, making it completely immune to damage, while still retaining its aggro drawing potential. Invisibility allows Loki to camouflage himself, becoming unseen and untargetable, although this won't stop enemies from attacking his last known location. I'd advise not to cast this ability on the ground, because it has a pretty big cast time of 0.75 seconds and when fighting higher level enemies you could easily get killed. Although you're invisible, you're not silent, so watch out which weapons you're firing because it can alert enemies. However, this can be fixed by using the Augment Hushed Invisibility. Switch Teleport is a skill best used in opportune moments. It allows Loki to switch locations with enemies, including some bosses, his allies, his decoy, Saren's Molt, and whatnot. Knowing when, where and how to use this skill is the key to mastering it. If there's enemies spread around the battlefield and there is something dangerous that needs immediate removal, you can quickly swap places with a distant weak enemy, then swap places again with a deadly target to reposition it away from your team. Or you can place a decoy in a distant place or a hard to reach spot and switch with it, allowing you to quickly reposition yourself when needed. Or you can switch with the fallen ally, placing them in a safe place then going back for the revive. And there are many other situations where this skill is viable. It's all up to you to figure out when, where and how to use it properly. Something people keep constantly forgetting about this ability is the augment, safeguard switch. That makes the ally you're switching with invincible for 6 seconds, which gets increased further by power duration. This goes hand in hand with an invisibility build centered on around the max duration, since the invincibility duration gets increased to 17 seconds, making this skill very powerful in certain situations. Loki's last skill, the Radial Disarm, disrupts all the weapons of ranged combatants, forcing them to switch to melee combat permanently. Corpus and Grenier melee enemies do not get affected by this skill. Infested, on the other hand, actually get disarmed. <laughs> but sadly, it's just visually, since they still do the same damage, making the skill kind of ineffective against them. But this can be somewhat fixed by using the Augment Irradiating Disarm, which applies radiation proc on all affected enemies. This skill also doesn't work against mini bosses or bosses. Most Loki players usually revolve around two different builds, one focused on invisibility, which looks like this, and another one focused around Radial Disarm, which looks similar to this. You can do a mix of both, but it means you won't be that effective overall. Now, when it comes to PvP, Loki plays quite differently than most other frames in a sense that he really can't take any punishment and relies heavily on his speed and skills to stay alive. Also, in regards to his skills, what I will tell you about them is really just general use with tips and tricks due to how dependent on time and place of usage they are, which makes them very ineffectiveness, and that's the difference between a good Loki and a great Loki. As a Loki, stopping is the worst possible thing you can do, unless you are absolutely certain that nothing is going to fire at you, or else stuff like this, or this, is an all too common occurrence. Oh. 
All that speed really comes into play, because repositioning or running away from a fight that's going to hell is incredibly easy, and instead of soaking up damage, Loki tries to avoid it altogether. Loki really lives up to his trickster god nickname. Combining speed, cunning and elusiveness, he can get the best out of any fight. The first tool that allows you to do so is decoy, which is incredibly fun to use, allowing you to create situations in which enemies are totally confused and will most often then not attack the decoy instead of you. It's very help. Okay then, maybe not. Anyway, as soon as the bugs get fixed, this skill is an important tool in your kit, which you will find yourself using quite a lot. And the more you use it, the better you'll get at it. Invisibility is equally as important, since it can truly mess with your opponent's mind if used in the right situations and with the right weapons. Anything from a camouflage sniper to an ambushing shotgunner or even a stealthy assassin. The skill being limited only by your imagination. Just keep in mind that enemies can still hear you shooting your weapons, and once they turn around your general direction they can also see your muzzle flash, which will make you easily spotable. Switch Teleport, on the other hand, is a very situational skill. Its uses mostly revolve around verticality because most of the times when I use it is when a heavy frame is above me and I just switch teleport with it to take it down from its high throne. And that really pisses off those players because they know their frame is very sluggish and that can make them very vulnerable. On the other hand, Radial Disarm is a very strong skill. Besides dealing some damage that can sometimes even kill enemies, it also disarms them, disabling their primary and secondary weapons for 10 seconds, forcing them to resort to melee attacks, in which case they might as well not have weapons at all, because hitting a good Loki with a melee weapon is goddamn near impossible. So all in all, Loki is a very good frame, given the right circumstances. But that's nothing that can be fixed by learning when, where and how to use his skills. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Don't forget to come back next time if you want to learn more about your favorite frames. See ya!